Hello and welcome back. Quick, check the alleyway. Get a room. Can't see anything. Negative. Let's check the other side. Are we alone? Yeah, we're we're alone. He's gonna just be an asshole. Let's just do it. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Harvey is going to kick us take the rooftops. directly take the in the taint. Wait. Stay out of trouble. Just stay out of trouble. <laughs> now, where's the fun in that? You shouldn't trust me, you know. I don't. <laughs> Lol. Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. Dick pics from Oz? E. Processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce. There are a number of messages here, all from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? Uh, the last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. I should have guessed. Hill's working with Penguin. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice. People look up to Batman after how you handled Falcone. Terrorizing the mayor could damage that goodwill. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Um, if I visit him as Bruce, it's going to give away that I'm Batman. And since we can't kill Hill yet, I mean, I want Batman to stay in people's good graces. There's a reason why I didn't kill Falcone, but I, I'm not sure if I do that, they're going to give me the option not to punch the shit out of him. Um. Uh. I guess I'll go as Bruce. I think this is probably a mistake, but I, I'll go as Bruce. Did he just like psychically change his clothes? How do I click? I don't have any cursor. Going as Bruce is the smart choice. Okay. Going as Bruce. Here I come, Hill. You ready for me? You trying to kill me? I don't want him to say anything about that, if possible. We'll see. I want a cubicle like that. Just was a punched in wall. Sorry, the mayor's busy. Do you have an appointment? I'm Bruce fucking Wayne. Uh, the mayor's doing debate prep. He really can't be disturbed right now. All right. No, so you better tell him I'm coming. Uh, sir? Bruce Wayne? To see you? He'll be right out. I'm not waiting. <laughs> hey -o. Bruce Wayne? Finally, you've come to see me. Of course, only after your name's been dragged through the mud. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad to see you. But you're a day late and a great many dollars short. We can be friends, Hill. I'd like us to put aside our differences. It's easy to ask for peace when you've already lost the war. But I won't be the one to deny a fresh start. Your father and I, we took this city and made it ours. Falcone too, rest his soul. We built everything we have. You were born with it. A soft boy like you wouldn't understand what it takes to rise to the top. Oh, I understand. Very well. 
I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Sounds like me. <laughs> it is you. So? What's your point? I take it you have one. Or are you just fond of my dulcet tones? You're working with Oswald Cobblepot and his thugs. Working with them? They're a bigger threat to order than those masked freaks. I'm in Cobblepot's crosshairs, same as you. But you fed them dirt on me. Only the files I seized from Wayne Manor. Your father, Falcone, and I, we had ways of getting anything we wanted. How do you think your family got the land for Wayne Tower? Cobblepot wants retribution because we took his family's land. Oswald's family signed it over to us, along with the rest of their assets. If that's true, then Oswald has a right to be angry. Is there any proof? Your father and I hid our tracks quite well. There's so much more I could share, if only we were friends. I, I said we you were, you Penguin, dickhole. Let you in on some family history. But I'm caught in a dogfight for my political career, and my rival has bottomless pockets. Now, if that rival were to say, drop out, or his advertising spend were to dry up, I might have a lot more resources for helping a new friend. I'm not... No, I don't like you, Hill. I know Harvey's gonna turn on me so hard, but I don't care. Not a chance, Hill. I'm not cutting Harvey loose. Well, you dropped on your head. When the mayor of Gotham extends a hand, you take it. When I extend my dick, you take it. I don't it. need your hand. Not with your voice on tape. You forget who you're talking to. I'm the man that says I never left such and such a message. And all the judges bow their heads and say, yes, sir. I'm the man who sends the police to your house to take your things, and I give them to whoever I please. You're nothing like your father. You'd never have the backbone to do what we did. Why is he not taping this? I'm the heavyweight, Wayne. And you're punching above your weight. The judges may bow, but the voters will burn you at the stake when I turn you in. If that voicemail makes it to the papers, or anywhere else I don't like, I'll turn my commissioner loose on your lieutenant for that fiasco down at the precinct. Gordon? And then I'll turn him on you and Dent for being there. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a debate to prep for. Get him out of here. Uh... Eh. Whatever deal you made with Penguin, he won't honor it. Don't worry about me. You should watch your own back. Here I come, boys! Why would you want to be in an office that had a huge picture of you on the wall? Bye, Hill. Alfred, get a warning to Gordon. Tell him to increase security in the debate. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. I don't understand why he didn't record that whole conversation with Hill. It was just incriminating as fuck. Like, whatever. I'm no Bruce Wayne. So he's going to the debate as Batman. All right. I wonder what else is on here. Dick pics, I'm telling you. As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. Thanks, Jeannie. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hills, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. Whatever, I mean, you told me he was corrupt. I can't imagine how you must feel. Deal with it. To be honest, Alfred, nothing can shock me anymore. Yeah, seriously. When it comes to my parents. I wish I felt the same way. But I suppose no good can come from wallowing. The city needs you now more than ever. Come in for a hug, man. Come in for a hug. Bruce, you dick. Hug him. I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it then. Alfred, if I were there, I'd hug you. All right, what am I looking at? 
Gotham District Attorney Nightly Harvey news. Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path to the mayor's office. I'm terrified Despite to use this shit because it's going to freeze, but let's watch this. Persist that the candidate is having trouble paying his campaign staff and making ad buys. A Dent spokesperson said these rumors are nothing more than a smear tactic perpetuated by the incumbent Mayor Hill's campaign. I don't understand why it would be at all important that he couldn't pay his fees. All right, let's watch some security cameras. Do I have to pick one? Oh no, Bruce is going to take care of it. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at what they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there now. I didn't get to look at the codex or anything, but that's all right. I wish I'd give you some sort of hint as to what's going to advance the story, because it's happened several times now. We're speeding down there! Gotta get there fast!